Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be creating a sub menu using the responsive menu plugin. And if you'd like to launch your own disposable WordPress environment, check out this service. It's called InstaWP. It has amazing features even with the free version and the pro version is also quite affordable. So check out their website at instawp.io. All right, so the first thing you want to make sure of is that you have the responsive menu pro plugin and you also need to ensure that you have a menu created, a WordPress menu. So hover over appearance, then click um, menus. So here you see that we have a WordPress menu with um, two main items and three sub items. So ensure that you have a menu before going to responsive menu. So if you are not sure of how to go ahead and create a menu, there will be a link to a video on the screen that shows you how to get started. Once you have a WordPress menu, click responsive menu, then click create new menu. Select from one of four themes, but I'm going to use the default theme. Once you're done, click next. So now you just want to choose a name for your menu. I'm going to call this sample menu. Select your WordPress menu at the bottom. If you have multiple menus, you can select from one of them. Under device visibility, we're going to select desktop. And for display conditions, leave it as show on all pages, then click create menu. Okay. So here we have a mobile device with, um, with our menu. So if we click this toggle button, we can see this is our responsive menu. We also have our, uh, our two main items. So let's expand samples here. We see our sub items. So this is our sub menu to customize this. Let's go over to mobile menu. Here you can customize the container as well as a toggle button. So let's customize the container. All right, let's uh, get out of this. Okay. So here you can toggle these menu items on and off by simply um, clicking the toggle switch. So you can select which of these elements you would like to be displayed in your menu. And to display the options for each element, all you need to do is click the bar or the plus icon to expand it. And once it's expanded, you can scroll down to configure your option. For example, you can um, change the title text. So let's delete the U in menu. So you can change this to whatever you need. And if you click styles, you can customize the colors for this title section. So you can make it whatever color that you want. And these customization options are very flexible. So just take some time to go through this plugin to get acquainted with its options. Okay. So let's go back and let's customize the toggle button. So this is this green button here. It's in an active state. So it's color is green. You can always change its color as well as its width and height. Um, but there are other options that you can configure to customize this button. Okay. So now let's go ahead and click menu styling. Okay. So you can use these options to, um, to style your menu. So for example, you can customize your, uh, the content in your menu. Um, let's click styling here. You can customize the color of your menu. For example, this is the background that we're changing to red. And, um, if we go back, let's click item styling. So here we can customize these menu items. So let's change the space between them. Let's uh, remove this 40 and type 80. So as you can see, the space increased, um, let us uh, set it back to 40. If we click sub menu, we can change the spacing for the sub menu as well. So let's change it to 80. And let's change this back to 40 pixels. So let's go ahead and change the background color for these menu items. So let's go back. Um, okay, sorry. Let's go back to item styling. And at the bottom, let's click background color. This is where you change the background color for your menu items. So click this checkered box to select a color. So you can choose from the colors at the bottom or uh, select your own color. Well, let's just make this orange. Okay. So this is how you change the background color. And if you want to make these changes on something like a tablet or a desktop, all you need to do is click the icon next to the color selector to change it from mobile to tablet or desktop. All right, so let's move over to header bar. Click enable header bar, then click update at the top of the page. So this is basically this bar that runs at the top of the screen right here. And as usual, you can customize this. You can choose to toggle these options on or off. So um, for example, we can turn the title off. 
Um, let's click this title button to turn it off. So click update once you've done this. And as you can see, the title disappears. You can turn it back on, click update, and it's back. Let's go back. And by the way, let me show you guys what the header bar would look like on desktop. At the bottom, switch to desktop. So this is what the responsive menu header bar looks like. Um, we have a hamburger menu, but we can always change this. Let's go back. Let's go over to settings, click general settings. So these are the menu items that we first configured when creating the menu. You can change these at any time. Click back and let's go over to advanced settings. So here we have device breakpoints. So we have a uh, mobile as well as tablet. So anything under 600 pixels is considered mobile and anything under 8,000 is considered tablet, but that's a bit much. So let's change this to about a thousand just as an example. Um, and what we want to do is click update once we've made that change. Okay. So we no longer have a hamburger menu. And if we hover over samples, we can see the sub menu. So in addition to breakpoints, we also have some other options that you can configure in advanced settings. Now let's add a background to our sub menu, go back, then go to menu styling. So once we're under sub menu, go over to background color and use the color selector to change the color to one that you'd like. Let's use black. So right now you see it's black. Now let's change the hover color. Let's make it blue. And let's add some more, um, some more saturation to this color, then go over to samples hover. And now you see the hover color is blue. Don't forget to click update once you're done. All right. So all of our settings have been saved. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like comment and subscribe. See you guys in the next video.